Hi guys, welcome to a hey math group. In this video, we're gonna learn how to rationalize the denominator. Let's do it. So let's say that you have a question like this, two over three minus the square root of five, and they ask you to rationalize the denominator. Anytime they ask you to rationalize, what you need to do is to multiply this expression by the conjugate. But what is the conjugate? The conjugate is gonna be this the same expression, but instead of negative, we're going to put a positive. So, look what we're going to do. We're going to have the expression times 3 plus the square root of 5 over 3 plus the square root of 5. You need to do it to the top and the bottom because if not, you're breaking the balance. See, here I'm not doing anything illegal because 3 plus the square root of 5 over 3 plus the square root of 5 is just 1. So, let's do it. Pretend that there are parentheses here to make it easier. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna do foil on the bottom and foil on the top. So let's do it. Two times three, that's six. Two times a square root of five is just two square root of five. Remember, a number multiplied by just a square root, you just put the number in the front. Now let's do the bottom. This is the same as just foiling. So we're gonna do it. I go 3 times 3, which is 9. 3 times the square root of 5, 3 square root of 5. Negative square root of 5 times 3 is negative 3 square root of 5. And then remember, when you multiply square root by square root, it's just the same number. Because the square root of 5 times square root of 5 is the square root of 25. But the square root of 25 is just 5. Negative times positive is a negative. And look what happens. The middle terms are going to cancel because plus 3 square root of 5 minus 3 square root of 5, that's equals to 0. If your middle terms where the square root is did not cancel, you did something wrong. So be very careful. Because remember, our goal is to get rid of the square root. All right, so now I only have 9 minus 5. And that's equals to 4. Finally, my answer, I have a 6, 2, and a 4. And I say, hmm, I can actually simplify this. If everyone is divisible by 2, I can do this. 6 divided by 2 is equals to 3. 2 divided by 2 is just 1. I don't touch a square root. And then 4 divided by 2 is just 2. Awesome. I just see my answer equals to 3 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And voila, we have it right here. It's number C. Thank you so much for doing such an amazing job. Don't forget to watch our other videos. And also, thanks so much for learning.